Uh, hey, happy Friday. It is 602. Very quiet traffic wise. A little bit of volume on the Coronado Bridge. Crash wise, there is one. Old Milky Way right at San Pet. And no, they're not referring to me, Old Milky over here. Uh, but very minor, <laughs> very minor crash. Very close to uh, double 21. Okay. <laughs> no, what you say is I'm 20 years old with about 20 years of experience. Uh, that, I love that. Thank you for saying that on my behalf. You know, <laughs> what she said. <laughs> what she, experience is very undervalued these days. You know what I mean? I uh, hate 647. I had to look real close. My eyes are getting a little foggy as I get older as well. Hi, <laughs> happy Friday to you. So your travel times look okay. In fact, I'm going to zoom into the Coronado Bridge just to show you the one little minuscule delay that I'm seeing. This is right at the tail end here. It is just a little bit of volume. You're still kind of hovering at the speed limit. There are no crashes reported here, but don't get any cockamamie ideas. You still need to follow the speed limit. Uh, drive safely out there. Let's start wide and then we'll focus in on what's happening here. So first of all, travel times on the rise to the South County. Nothing too major. You can see the bridge mid span, a little bit of volume, but it's more so here. North on the five at the 54. You've got 24 miles an hour through National City. It's the same travel time on the northbound 805 crossing the 94. Now let's get to these crashes. Eight heading westbound right at the 805. It looks like we've got one lane blocked and already there are some pretty big delays. It's not a long delay, but it's heavy down to 19 miles an hour heading through the normal heights area. Linda Vista Road. There is a crash at Genesee Avenue. Crews are blocking one lane there. We're going to truck our way further north. This is west of the 15 Black Mountain Road. That crash at Westview Parkway is still there. This looks daunting over here, but I'm going to walk you through it. There are delays on that southbound side of the five because of a stalled car. I'm guessing there was volume anyway, but as you're approaching La Costa Avenue, it looks like that second lane is blocked because of the stall. There may have been a minor crash in that area because that delay seems a little heavy for a stall, but regardless, you're down to 13 miles an hour. Further north on the 76, you can see we've got our own setbacks here. Traveling westbound right at Loretta Street, there is a crash blocking one lane. Oh, it just disappeared. You saw that. So hopefully that delay will start to dissipate as well. But for now, you are down to 10 miles an hour. Here you can see south on the 5 driving through the Hidden Meadows area. We've got some volume as well, 20 miles an hour. Out of the delay, we've got a crash. So south on the 15 at Deer Springs Road. Crews are off to that left-hand shoulder. You see in that particular stretch of the 15, we don't see any massive backups. One last crash I want to mention before I wrap things up. This is impacting Valley Center right at Molly and Court. Crews are blocking one lane, so you're still able to access the intersection at 713. Back to you.